Hi, I am Dr. Vaibhav Deraje. I am a consultant craniofacial and plastic surgeon, Bangalore. Scaphocephaly is a type of shape of the skull where the shape of the skull is long and narrow. Now this usually happens when the sagittal suture is fused or the growth plate which is called as the sagittal suture. The sagittal suture is the suture which is in the middle of the head and it is the longest and the biggest suture in the head. Now when that fuses, what happens is it restricts the growth of the skull and makes the skull very narrow. Now when the skull becomes narrow, the brain tries to grow forwards and backwards. So some of these children can have frontal bossing or bossing in the area of the forehead, really prominent forehead. And they also can have something called as an occipital bullet. Now that is where there is a prominence on the back of the head. Now scaphocephaly due to sagittal synostosis is one of the most common craniosynostosis in the western population. Here in India we don't see it that much but it is the most commonly seen craniosynostosis abroad. Now sagittal synostosis is again treated by two approaches. If somebody comes to us early, we offer minimally invasive approaches. It could be either endoscopic craniectomy with helmet therapy or the spring assisted cranial expansion. But if somebody comes to us after six months of age, we'll have to do something called as open cranial vault remodeling, where we open up the whole skull and reshape the bones uh, to improve the shape of the skull. Now, one aspect of sagittal synostosis is that there are very high chances of raised intracranial pressure. Although not very common, but about 10% of the children, 10 to 15% of the children sometimes can have raised intracranial pressure. 